This is old school Noe. Today we are spray painting this seating register. It's dusted and rusted and I'm so disgusted. Changing the color to coffee bean. Might as well spray paint the light switch covers. Yeah, somebody didn't know how to paint. Wall outlet covers, spray paint them too. Use the same flathead to unscrew everything. Your cover might be glued to the wall with old paint. Simply use a metal scraper to pry it loose. Yeah! Time to remove that paint splatter from our items. Fill a tub with distilled white vinegar and throw your items in. The vinegar will loosen up any old paint. Plastic will be ready in an hour and metal takes about five hours in the hot sun. I did not throw in the screws. After an hour, look how easily the paint strips off. Don't use a metal scraper on plastic. I had a Permatex plastic scraper from a previous project. Wash the item thoroughly with dish soap and a sponge. After your plastic items dry, scuff them with P600 sandpaper. Don't forget your mask. Scuffing is a must. It allows the paint to stick to the plastic's protective layer. This one has been scuffed. This has not. The one on the left looks dull. A very little gloss is what you're aiming for. It's near 100 degrees. That won't be an issue. Clean the item with the tack cloth and spray a light coat of primer. After 15 minutes, spray a medium coat of your color. Give it two coats. And look at me go. So yeah, give it two coats. 30 minutes from there, finish with a medium coat of crystal clear enamel. After five hours of baking in the sun, the vinegar loosened paint and removed all rust. I washed it and scuffed it with 220 grit sandpaper. Now we follow the same spraying process as before. Primer, color, then crystal clear enamel. Voila! Here's our results. The imperfections are noticeable up close. Eh, I sprayed a little too heavy on this cover, but it's fine. It still looks amazing. The crystal clear enamel bottle kind of started misfiring. Yeah, this section. The area is blotchy. Some runs. It looks good. Come on, no one's going to notice when it's on the ceiling. But I noticed something. You can skip all the prep work. Here's a typical ceiling register. Grimy, dusty, and rusty. Cleaning it will take five hours in vinegar. Forget that. Just clean it with dish soap and a sponge. A toothbrush helps clean the hard to reach spots. Forget about the rust. The vinegar trick is still relevant to the plastic pieces, but I learned you can skip this step with metal registers. Here I'm showing that you can totally skip the sanding. The left has been washed and scuffed. The right has only been washed. It contains paint splatter that will show up in the finish. I will prime both. Take my time with the one on the left and paint it coffee bean. The one on the right I will half ass and paint it white. Enamel on both. And here we are. The finish came out nice on both. I was careful and still made a few mistakes.
But dang, look at that glossy finish. Looks good. The non-sanded, non-prepped ceiling register really surprised me. You already know about this paint splatter. Not bad. And when it's on the ceiling, no one's going to notice. Just do it this way. Wash it and then get straight to painting. Before you reconnect the items, give the area a quick wipe down with Super Clean. What a difference. Give the light switch tip a wipe down too. For safety reasons, don't try to clean these. Such a small change really did liven up the place. Cost about 20, I painted multiple registers, as an amateur, you will make mistakes, but in the end, you can't even tell. Just do it. Happy painting. See you guys next time.